Hello, Beauty News. Welcome back. Wait, Beauty News family. (laughs) Uh, Welcome back to Beauty News. This is the 30th of November edition. Yep. Uh, So say goodbye to November and hello to Christmas. Yay! Yay! (laughs) He loves that I love Christmas. It is my jam. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yep. Um, Before we start, um, I'm going to do one update. We Mm -hmm. talked about it in last week's video but i'm gonna remind, remind you. people yes. uh we'll be at a change of studios event in geelong on tuesday yeah so if you do want to register there's only a few spots left i believe but i'll we'll link it down There'll below be a link again down below yep. yeah so check it out if you're a youtube creator yeah and you live around geelong you got hairs everywhere I've got you, got it. Hair. You, you got yeah. it you got it um yeah so check that out below Excellent. That'll awesome. be that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Changer events are always fun. I always have fun when I'm yeah hanging out with the changer people. Yeah, yeah. they're great. I think, I think that's they're fair. fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, start okay, with updates. let's start with some updates. All right, this is sort of something that we haven't spoken about in beauty news, but I did show it in uh, the Black, Black Friday, Friday sale video that went up last week. So this is another Disney Mickey Mouse 90th anniversary. Collab. Uh, this is what number? <laughs> Three thousand six hundred. I think yeah. I think it's number four, four or five that we've seen so far. Yeah. Uh, but this is with Besame, um, and this has already been released. So if you wanted it, it's been released. Um, you can buy a pack that has two lipsticks and a makeup and a like a compact mm-hmm. um, with the old school Mickey sort of design on it, which I you know, it it yeah. Some people it's, might like this yeah. more than the sort of more, more modern. modern ones. Yeah. So the shades are Mickey Red, which is a red lipstick, and Ink and Paint, which is a sheer dark berry lipstick yep. shade. And those are both, you can buy them individually, or if you do want the, the makeup compact, you have to buy it in the pack. Yeah. There we go. Bite have shown the last of their astrology lipstick collection. We've got Sagittarius here. It is a bright, cool toned pink. Now, I'm just going to put it out there. I personally feel like this is a Sagittarius shade, but I also feel like whenever they release one of these, the people who are represented by that color go fuck off that's not me that's and they everyone do so. else who knows them goes oh my god that is such a Sagittarius shade or that is <laughs> such a Scorpio shade so um I totally respect you if you are a Sagittarius and you are frothing at the mouth with rage for this color um it is a bold color it is so a bold color it's described as being a cool tone bright pink and This is a shade, like, if I'm going to wear a pink, this is the kind of pink I like to go for. But I'm one of those rare people that generally like a pretty bold lip. Yeah. So if you don't like a bold lip, you'll be, this will be a no. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, But, you know, I think it does, unlike um, the Scorpio one that was like a double up of a reddy orange. Yeah. This is a different one than what we've seen this year. So I I don't don't hate it too much. But um, it was available for pre-release. I think probably by the time you're watching this, it's probably available. Um, But there you go. All right. We've seen the ColourPop Disney Designer Collection restocked for uh, Black Friday. Mm. But in addition to that, they have shown or they have released new packs. So these are packs that are designed for each of the princesses. So there's six of them and in the pack there is their luxe lipstick that was sold individually and sold out time and time again their super shock shadow and also an ultra glossy lip that is exclusive to these packs so you can get the you know princess look with an ultra glossy lip as well in these sort of capsule packs which i actually think these are cool packs yeah i like them i really like the packaging um There's going to be people who are so fucking pissed off because they brought the whole collection. Yeah. And now they're like, good, great. Now I need to buy doubles of every lipstick and Super Shock Shadow to get the lip glosses. Personally, um, I was kind of excited that this was restocking. I was pretty much over the side of the fence 
heading towards getting ready to buy it. Mm. I was like, yay, this is exciting. And then when I saw this, I was like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not supporting this type of behavior from makeup brands. I don't like it. Yeah, I do think that they should have at least, okay, maybe not sold them individually if they didn't want to, but at least sell it in a six yeah. lip gloss So pack. if you already own the rest of the collection, yeah. you can just buy those six. Yeah. But the fact that they put them in these bundles. Can I also say, though, mm. Um, I find it weird, though, that they did sell out the lipsticks super fast, yet they had enough to make these packs. I know. I almost, like, I I like the packs if they just had released the packs. Yes. Because yep. you can go, I really like Snow White, so I'm going to buy yep. the one Snow White yeah, pack. Yeah, I like the packs for their individuality. Yes. Like, I like them for what they are on their own. But when you then put them next to what they've released in the past month mm-hmm. or so with the Disney designer collection, I just go, well, fucking why are you doing this to your most loyal customers? Yeah. Because your most loyal customers are the ones that are buying everything from every collection. Mm-hmm. Like. Or the loyal uh, Disney sort of fans as well. Yeah. 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 That's fair. Another thing that we mentioned in the Black Friday uh, video was this pack by Jouet. Now, when we filmed that we didn't have any information about this besides like a photo yeah um but i did actually put more information on that screen but i thought i'll just talk through this really quickly so this is the fun fetty pack that has already launched um 20 of all the net proceeds go to unicef which is good um and this was released for the founder's birthday um so it does have the lip gloss i think in a mini version um, the Funfetti lip topper, but they've got what looks like it's maybe a silver or holographic eye topper, like eye foil, ultra foil, I believe it's called, um, and a Funfetti highlighter. Now, um, a lot of people sort of are interested in this because individually these items are pretty well known from the brand, mm-hmm. um, but it will suck if you have a double up of, yeah. that lip yeah. Glo- of that yeah lip topper. But um, yeah, that's what that is, and that's another photo of it. Nice. Okay, Too Faced Pretty Rich. Now, we did see an image um, of Jared where he was, like, playing with new scents for a new collaboration and then posted an image with Jordan Woods and then we saw Jordan Woods using lip glosses and then we realised it's part of the Pretty Rich collection. Yeah, so last (laughs) week we did see the sneak peek that's on the screen and we did say it's likely going to be linked to to the next collaboration that he was talking about. Now, I don't actually think that's going to be the case anymore because this has already been created. It's already been marketed. Uh, There is no way he's picking sense now for something that's already coming out. He has uh, used old news as new news and... Yeah, it was... Or it's all new, but it's a, it's a very early sneak peek yes, to something maybe, that's coming out maybe. next. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he was intentionally trying to link the two. No. We no. link the two, Yeah, but it's not the same. So what it is, is Jordan Woods is well, has collaborated on a lip gloss. It's a peachy one. We can see it here, but it is part of the well the pretty rich yes. collection so it's one of the six shimmery lip glosses her shade is social butterfly which is an orangey one it's got um i think her yeah her name on the packaging but it's just and, and look it makes sense she's pretty rich <laughs> so if anyone's gonna have she a lip gloss pretty rich. <laughs> yeah she's look, uh, i don't hate it <laughs> i'm gonna say though that that all the stars lip gloss is actually pretty they are really pretty yeah I like I understand why people like shimmery lip glosses cuz they can look really fucking pretty. Yeah. And if you look at her wearing it, it just looks really sort of glossy wet look. and yeah. Mm. Juicy. Juicy lips. Mm. So these are going to be 21 US dollars each. They're a high impact glitter and shimmer with a long wear formula. Yeah. So that's just part of the pretty rich collection that's coming very soon. Excellent. All right, uh, we'll get on to the new stuff, but let's just start. Let's go backwards. Okay, good. Fuck it. Let's start with Too Faced because we're just talking about Too Faced. Mm -hmm. Um, They have released, uh, on Cyber Monday, they released their mystery bag. Mm. Now, they do this every single year. Um, So for $42, you get $123 value. Um, From what I remember, and I'll try to put photos on the screen of last year's one um, and maybe even the year before, 
people weren't very impressed with last year's one from what I remember. Yeah, I think I recall that as yeah, well. Yeah, and I did hear someone say, I think in the comments when I posted this, um, that the mystery bo bags or boxes or whatever haven't been good for quite a number of years now. Mm -hmm. And I do remember last year it was sort of like getting rid of old stock. Yeah. Um, so... A few people were con like, because they do have full size items, and a few people were like, okay, full size items, I'm down. Um, and then other people are like, yeah, I fell for that, and it's just a load it's of crap. excess yeah. stuff that no one wants, and that's yeah. why they're in the box. You'll probably find there's a lot of, um, they had those. What are those glossy? Oh, the um. Oh, um. Mm melted vinyls yeah something like that so there's going to be a lot of products in this box no doubt from recently discontinued ranges yeah. so generally what it is it's the same box that everyone gets that's why they can say exactly that's 123 dollar value yeah um so there's no variation it's not like a mystery box where some people get more value and other people get slightly less value yeah um it's the same box and it's generally latex. yeah latex yeah <laughs> oh latex <laughs> melted yeah. latex Ma melted latex yeah um yeah i reckon i reckon it's gonna be yeah similar to last year where it's getting rid of excess stock yeah but if you if you're happy with that, then go for it. Yeah, value. Uh, okay, Peri Pera have released the ASMR collection. This is so weird. <laughs> this is weird for a makeup collection. It this is, is the it weirdest. Is weird. The and I've seen a lot of makeup collections. ASMR is the weirdest thing to pair makeup with. I think so too. But I also think it's. It's funny that they're like cashing in on it. Yeah. So this Hashtag is ASMR. yeah. This is a Perry Perra's sense of memorable relaxation, um, and it contains two cushion foundations. And the packaging on this foundation has a soft plastic cover um, that's filled with water underneath and glitter, so you can like smush it around yeah it'd be like phone case some phone yeah. cases that do yeah. that uh there's also some liquid eyeshadows there's a lot of lip products as well uh you've got like matte tints glossy tints lots of stuff um did i mention liquid eyeshadows yes but Good. there's also an eyeshadow quad yes I want I want these lip balm things like there's watermelon flavor, nice. peach flavor, and strawberry flavor. I want one of each. Yeah. Um, but yeah, ASMR for makeup is such a weird look. Cash in, but I would only accept this if it has ASMR sounds. Yeah. I personally don't. ASMR doesn't work for me, no. so I don't get it. But I reckon they should work with people that do get it and have like. <laughs> That when you're like opening it, it makes like a sound yeah. that it provokes ASMR. Yeah. Like I feel like that, that would be cool. If you're gonna do it, you should actually do it. Yeah. The NARS Ignited palette has uh, had its debut launch at Mecca. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Uh, so this is a 12 pan palette, three mattes. The rest are shimmery shades. It's very rosy. Yes. Yeah. Bit mauvey. Bit nude bit rosy mm. um but this actually launched in australia i believe before anywhere else yeah um on cyber monday so if you're in australia you could have had a world sneak peek oh exciting um, so there we go that's that nabla have released a new liner or it's coming soon look it's a new pen liner it's called the serial liner and it's is that because yeah. serial killers cut people? Potentially, and this is supposed to be, like, sharp enough to cut a bitch. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if they're saying that, but... No, they're not. But we're saying that. We're putting two and two together to make serial killers. All right, we've seen with Lush um, that they have released uh, exclusive online um, multi-use concealer sticks. So, once again, this is in the packaging less the naked... Mm -hmm. uh, range so it's similar to their foundations that have the wax in the bottom but this is more like a pointed thing so you can probably put it under your eyes yeah. um etc etc there are 10 shades available and um it looks like it's got a, a similar ingredient list to the foundation uh where coconut oil is 
your first ingredient. Yeah. And th- yeah, there's waxes, a bunch of oils, butters, yeah. lavender oil, bergamot oil. Yeah. There's a lot going on here. So uh, if oils cause your skin issues, avoid these. Yeah. But they sort of need a lot of oils and butters in this and waxes to make to it hold emollient it, to yeah. hold its shape because it's got to be it's got to hold its shape at room temperature but then it's got to melt onto your skin mm. so yeah like I, I understand why the ingredients are the way they are yeah um it's just going to be a matter of if that product works well with your skin type which from our video when we did the foundation a lot of people were saying it's it not wouldn't for us not for me yeah all right, from Linda Hallberg, we did see a new palette last week. Yeah. Seen a new one this week. Yeah. Um, this one actually really excites me. It's so um, cool. So it's already launched and it's the Metallic Mysteries 2. So we'll put a photo on the screen of the Metallic Mysteries, which came out last year. Uh, it's a beautiful looking palette. Yeah. Um, and this one is also a beautiful looking palette. It is. Um, so there is like a champagne sort of color, a more brownie burgundy Mm -hmm. a nice sort of pine christmasy green and a beautiful like jewel toned red this is really pretty this is so i get it so christmas yeah i I get it it. this is 59 us dollars so yeah like i said available now you can see the photos they look really really beautiful i love this photo with the swatches on the fingers yeah so do i it's so pretty they've done a great job but even like this, just having the one yeah, color on the I know. lid looks gorgeous. And these kind of palettes, like these all shimmer big palettes, pair well with those sort of all over face and eye palettes yep. that we spoke about last week. So I get it. I get it. Um, Kylie. Oh, this is an update. Whoops. Oh, okay. Whoopsie daisy. Um, this is just, we've seen what the collaboration with KKW Beauty yeah. is. Liquid lipsticks. Yeah, so it's a four-piece lip pack. Um, I think it's three matte and one metallic gloss. No, two matte, a velvet, and a top of gloss. gloss. So this was a four-piece releasing Black Friday. Um, When we talked about Black Friday releases, I put these photos on the screen, but we didn't have the information then. Um, You know, a lot of people are bored as fuck with this, which I totally get. But I do want to say these colors work so well on them. They do. On their colouring. They're extremely complementary to their colouring. Yeah. On if you've got colouring similar to theirs, you will really like these. I okay, yeah, I totally respect that these are boring. Like we've seen it. Guys, there are so many fuck there are there's gotta be tens of thousands of lipsticks and lip products Easy. and lip glosses released every year. Easy. Tens of thousands. Easy. This is not fucking riveting in the slightest. No. But I like the colours. I think they're pretty. Will I buy them? No. Yeah. But I can appreciate that they're pretty colours. Yeah, I agree. And I appreciate that if they're going to collaborate together, like these things are really flattering on their skin yeah. tones. I understand that. A lot of people were confused, though, like, whose brand is this creating it? Like, where <laughs> yeah. do you buy it? Yeah. And you buy it on the Kylie website, but yeah. it's a collaboration with KKW. Yeah. Now, I do want to mention that when they first did a collaboration, which was a similar thing, that was before KKW Beauty. Yeah, it was. So it was, like, sort of like the the little Precursor sneak peek to, yeah, to yeah. KKW. Yeah. So that was, yeah. So, yeah, this is sort of like a throwback yeah. To that, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's available if you want it. It's a pack. Cool. Um, this is technically an update as oh, well. Yeah. Cat... We skipped it because it's boring. It is fucking boring. Kat Von D, the Saint and Sinner Poor Candles. So she sneak peeked, um, or she maybe didn't sneak peek it. She said straight out that she's releasing two types of candles with the Saint and Sinner fragrances. Uh, a pillar candle, mm-hmm. which is just a wax candle that burns down. And then um, a candle in like a glass vessel. So, and they're the pour candles, like they're poured in. Mm. Yes. Um, so these are thirty-eight US dollars each, and they're available now. Yep. Kat Von D Beauty, Sephora, Sephora Canada, Debenhams, and they're only available internationally in the UK. What? Well, we don't want them online anyway. Online exclusive. Oh, good. Just, I don't even care. Fuck. No. Zero shit. Nobody cares. 
Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. All right, we've seen a new winter collection from uh, KL Polish. Mm. Can I just say secretly, mm. I'm so sick of her releases to yeah. the point where I'm like, is this beauty news? <laughs> but I feel like because we do talk about other nail polish releases, we have to, we have to continue. But I'm like, I don't. Anyway, so winter collection. Yeah. Um, and a lot of it, like especially the photo shoot and some of the names are really inspired by Game of Thrones yeah. or just general sort of fantasy things. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's a little bit cheeky. Yeah. Like there's one called Mother I've of Dragons. I've actually seen, I've seen quite a few people bring up that they feel like this is cheeky as well. Yeah. Almost like um, sort of. Using the rights yeah. without actually paying for yeah. the rights. Because yeah. was it Mother of Dragons or one of them? Wait, what's the other? Winter is coming. Yeah. One of them is actually trademarked. Well, it wouldn't surprise me because they're, they're like very well-known sayings from Game of Thrones, which is not only like, oh no, okay, um, a, a, a song of fire and ice yes. is like a it's a massive book series yeah. and then game of thrones is like one of the biggest tv shows yeah. of the past 10 years yeah. so i do feel like what they're doing is like piggybacking off a property and not actually paying respects to mm. it by asking permission yeah i'll have to double check um what the the trademark one thing more, is yeah. yeah i'll like i'll we'll stick something on the screen but i do feel like it's a little bit like yeah it's a bit of a like f- fuck you to i don't know like i understand that she's trying to take inspiration mm-hmm. but yeah i feel like it's yeah like i there i've seen many people do this before and mm. like we really like graceful nail polish and they do the same thing where they will take properties yeah like their most recent one which we'll talk about in a second um is handmaid's tale yeah and um teresa actually sort of creates themes around a property yeah but she won't she actually call it actually yeah. anything from she like changes things so that it's a nod to it but it's not directly ripping it off or yeah yeah and it's a fine line and there's a gray yeah. area and people be like how can you accept one and not the other and i think to some degree, I don't accept any of them. Yeah. And at the same time, I, I understand pushing the limits a little bit. But the difference, I think, is if someone's searching for Mother of Dragons, mm. which is probably you're searching it because you're searching Game of Thrones, mm. the and fact the that polish the nail polish up. pops up, I think that's you're using their terms and their properties mm. to further sell your product yeah. which is where i think you should be giving a kickback to yeah. the person that owns the rights and to also that. like we know that this collection isn't in collaboration with george rr R. martin or any of the game of thrones like, whoever owns, whoever the game of thrones owns pro- it yeah. but does everyone know that no, probably not. It, just, anyway. it sits a bit weird with me. Yeah. I'm and, not, yeah. But it's not just you. There's I've seen a lot of people mm. discussing stuff like this in comments related to these products. Yeah. So it's not just, you know, we're not being funny about it. It's like people are generally like, this is a bit distasteful. Uh, but what are the shades we've seen so All far? All right. Mother of Dragons is a metallic brassy green with gold glitter. Mm-hmm. She looks like Daenerys here. Exactly right. And that's where I feel like it's not even a nod. It's like, I'm doing fucking Game of Thrones cosplay yeah. in my marketing campaign. Yeah. It's fucking weird. It's just weird. Uh, Winter is Coming is a metallic white with multi-dimensional glitter that looks like snow on your fingertips. Can't confirm because I've never seen snow. I've seen snow, but probably not on my fingertips because once I hit your fingertips... It melts, so... Mm, okay, yeah. 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 Then we have uh, Unfortunate Souls. And this is a, a deep purple with brown undertones. And we all know where that reference has come from. But I see, once again, <laughs> I think that reference is more subtle. I'm sure Unfortunate Souls is probably not trademarked. No, I wouldn't think it is. It's but it's like it's a it's a phrase taken from a song. Yeah. So yeah. I I and it's, you know so I feel like this is if you're going to take inspiration. I feel a like nod. That, yeah. Yeah. Is fine. Yeah. And look, the copying color, Daenerys. Yeah. Not so much. The color 
representing Ursula is cool. Yeah. I really like it. And then with that little nod of unfortunate souls. Yes. Yeah. See, so that's it, that's where it I'm okay with it. It's just enough to tell people what it's about. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have um, To the Stars. It's a metallic royal blue. It's a pretty color. Mm. I don't hate it. Uh, Sophie is the next one. This is a whitened gray. Um, it looks, well, it, it's, it's hard to It looks like a tell. white, but it, yeah. It does look like a white. The last one is Casanova, and it is a metallic muted rust shade. Yes. So, look, this collection's called Winter Rain, and it's, um, you know, rain as in, like... Kings and queens raining. Yes, raining. Yeah. yeah. So, it's coming out soon. All right. Huda has shown something for holidays. Yeah. Um, so, we haven't actually seen Huda's holiday collection yet. Oh, uh, really? We saw the two tins. Yeah. And we've seen these. So, mm. these are the new metallic power bullet lipsticks. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are three shades. Cake Day, which is a magenta... There is After Party, which is a purple, and then there is NYE, so New Year's Eve, which is a dramatic red with vampy undertones. So these are metallic lipsticks, but they've got glitter in them as mm. well. Um, but they're supposed to be a revolutionary new formula that combines multi-reflective glitter, rich pearl pigments, and an iridescent shimmer. So they look nice swatched. The, the marketing photos look really cool with the glitter. Yeah. And I like that the shape is almost like a crystal shard. Mm. Um, but yeah, if you talk Look, to you. Huda always loves to fucking toot her own horn how the formula, the formula, it's revolutionary. Yes. It never is. No, it's just it's a metallic glittery fucking... lipstick. My God. Yeah. Go away. But these are launching on December the 3rd. Um, and they're going to be 20 US dollars at Sephora. And mm. you can buy them elsewhere as well. But... Uh, yeah, that's something. It's not. I look. I would not buy them because no. I would never wear them. Exactly. But look, they're not ugly looking lipsticks. If yeah. you if you're looking at like, if just you metallic. like metallic lipsticks, there you go. There you go. Then it's more for you. Jeffrey Star has shown a new palette. This is a Supreme Frost Pro palette. It's called Northern Lights. It's launching on the eighth of December, and it'll contain six new shades. Yeah. So. A lot of people saw the packaging of this and were like, oh my God, mm. hopefully he brings out the most phenomenal green palette. And I was like, it's a highlighter, highlighter palette. Yeah. <laughs> just be, just be reminded that Supreme Frost is a highlighter formula. So yeah. these are going to contain uh, probably two rows of six pans yeah. or three pans, sorry, to make six pans. Um, and the Supreme Frost formula is a cool formula. Yeah. So I would be really interested. I'm interested. I'm really interested. Yeah. Um, I have to say, though, we've got two Supreme Frosts each. We do. I like one and the other one. Don't love. I don't really love. Yeah. What about you? Well, I like both of them. Mm. I think you don't like the green one, do you? I just don't think it looks special. Gr I yeah. feel like it looks yeah. like any other gold glittery highlighter. Yeah. yeah. And that's, I'm like, oh. Like, you want it to be special. I, and yeah. I totally understand that. For the price of it and, you know, ordering it online and ex expecting it to yeah. look really cool and it just looks like a gold glitter, I'm like, I've got a hundred of those. Yep. Yeah. 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 So for me, I don't reach for that one, but I do really like hypothermia. Yeah. Um, so I'm keen to see, I feel like there's going to be very icy vibes, greeny vibes, and maybe yep. purpley vibes yep. in this. It could be blue. Yeah. There are like red and pink tones in Northern Lights as well. So I am just going to put it out there right now. This is going to be a colorful highlighter palette. Yeah. With leaning more on the cooler side, yeah. yeah, which he's done that before with his other, yeah, um, whatever the what are they called? What are the frost? What are they called? Um, the skin frost, skin frost, yeah, yeah they've done that before, it's not super exciting. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was funny that everyone was like, This has such great potential as an eyeshadow palette, and I'm like, Yeah, it does, but it's not. <laughs> Oops. Uh, if they did bring out an eyeshadow palette in these kind of themes, though, I know it a lot would, of people will be very excited. would be really cool. Yeah, yeah. You missed, missed opportunity. Yes. All right. Speaking of Graceful Nail Polish, they have released two collections, and this actually released uh, earlier in the month. 
Um, we were sent them. We have made Instagram videos of them. So if you want, I'll put them on the screen as we're talking. Yeah. Uh, but there's two collections. One is the holiday collection, so the Christmas collection. This is where you see more the, you know, glittery colors, the reds. Um, this has holographics. It has kind of cool golds and glitters there's and some stuff. Thermals there's thermals in there. Yeah, some yeah. really beautiful there's thermals. There's a magnetic one. Yeah. yeah. It's a cool collection. It's very pretty. Yeah. And then they also have... Um, don't let the bastards grind you down. Yes. I'm not going to say it in Latin. Because... No, but we'll put it on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's the one that's inspired by Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. So, once again, it's very subtle uh, hint, hint yeah. nod at, you know, Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. Um, but if you're interested in that, uh, they are available. And the way Graceful Nail Polish works is that she actually goes on a break early December. Yes. So you need to order all your stuff before, I think it's like the 4th of December. So if you want anything. Because otherwise you need to wait until the new year. Yeah. 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 Um, Dolce and Gabbana. We've got a new collection coming. This is, we're just calling it Nana Glam. Okay. Yes. It's, it's Nana Glam. Um, I'm personally offended that they didn't actually call it Nana Glam, but I love that they've actually got nanas in there. I know. Good it on them. It is the fucking best. I love it. So it's a Sweet Holidays collection. Nana Glam. Nana Glam. Um, and it contains a classic cream lipstick in Baroque Red and two shine lips in, sorry, two shine lipsticks in Baroque Bronze and Baroque Gold. We've got three glam liners, one in black intense, baroque gold and baroque bronze. Then we have three perfect mono eyeshadows in desert, gold dust and stromboli. And there is a nail lacquer in red and apparently nail stickers or yeah. they're nail decals. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're, they've they got one like a gold a baroque yeah. Yeah, pattern on them. So they're pretty, it's a nano glam. Love it. Yeah. If my nan was still with me, I would buy us both one of those red lipsticks for Christmas because my nan rocked a red lip. You know what? I might just buy it anyway. Why not? In memory of your yeah, nan. Yeah, that'd be idea. nice. I think that's nice. And I like, I actually quite like the packaging as well. It is very nana glam. Yeah. So. See, if I had to buy something in memory of my grandmother who also is not with us anymore, yes. um, it would have to be hair dye that's on sale and then she uses it like shampoo so it's always just a tint and a little bit patchy <laughs> god bless him i loved it my nana she actually did wear red lipstick Good all the her. time when she was that's going gonna be out, me when i'm old but she had bad eyes so it would always oh. be un uneven and when she'd eat it would like migrate oh. into the corners and Oh my god, she was so cute. I yeah. love them. Nans yeah. are the best. They are the best. Fucking love them. Okay, new from indie brand, mm. Cleona Cosmetics, Canadian brand. Yes. Uh, they have just released a new set of eyeshadows. So this is the 66.5 degree north collection. I think that is reference to Canada. Yep, um, I like it. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah, and they so it's 24 eyeshadows they're sold individually for six dollars fifty canadian um or the whole set for a hundred and forty five dollars mm -hmm. this was twenty percent off with black friday sales i don't know when that sale ends but if you picked it up good well idea. done uh, but this is a very cool toned blues greens purples bit of browns bit of like smoky there's mattes there's shimmers so you can see the photos on the screen. So they're just adding to their range and they're really injecting in some sort of trendy colors. Yeah. So I like this. It sort of reminds me of sort of nice winter and like grass and like stuff. So yeah. uh, that is available now if you want it. Excellent. All right. Getting back to ColourPop because come in full circle. Yeah, go on. Let's uh, do so it. So we've got a couple of new releases. One that's already already been released, so let's mm -hmm. talk about this. This is a Super Shock Shadow Vault. Yep. It's called Is This Real Life? For $99 US dollars, you get 25 new shades mm. of Super Shock Shadows. Um, they're all here. They, mm -hmm. Some people are really hating the combination. <laughs> there's like mm. a marbled one. There's split pan ones. Yeah. There's like ones with 
prints in them. Um, and I feel like a lot of people are saying that like they they hate the way this is organized because you could mm. have it's like five of each. You could actually have them lined up that nicely. It even looks like the Louis Vuitton. It sort like, of does. Diamond and it sort of does. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these are all new shades and. There they are. There's swatches on the screen. They're available if you want a massive amount. Some nice shades, some average looking shades. Yeah, I think I'd prefer to just buy 25 shades that I like. Yeah, I think that's fair. Oh, someone was also saying that this one here yeah. is like copying the, one of the Fenty. Oh! You know the Fenty duo? <laughs> they're, just, they're just stealing inspiration Orcs. left, right and centre. Orcs. Yeah, so anyway, that's the thing. But... If you love Super Shock Shadows or you've got a bunch of friends that is happy to split them, yeah. it might be a good deal. But for your average consumer, it is way yeah, too much. I don't need. It's way don't too want, much. Don't want. Um, another ColourPop thing that has just been shown today when we're filming this is a new collaboration. This is with Becky G. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not familiar with Becky G because... I'm old and I don't care about music these yeah, days. Yeah, me too. Um, oh, is she a musician? She's a musician. So it's the first time that they've collaborated with a musician. They've collaborated with fucking hotel heiresses. Yeah. <laughs> and fucking Fuck. cartoons. They've Yeah, multiple cartoons. They've Fuck. collaborated with a lot, but this yeah. is the first musician. All right. Um, but this is releasing the 5th of December, and it's the – can you pronounce that? So – Is it – Selvage. Do we? Yeah. Do you pronounce the J as a J, or is it? It's meant to be Latin, though, isn't no, it? No, it's Spanish for Spanish sal- for uh, savage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, I'm not yeah familiar with the word. So this is inspired by her Latin roots. Mm-hmm. Um, That's where I got the Latin thing from. Yes, you saw the word Latin somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and I think this collection. Look, it's not too bad. There's a yeah. there's a palette. There's two loose highlighters. There's three ultra matte lips and two ultra satin lips. Um, and the images of her wearing it, she looks gorgeous. She does look beautiful. She looks absolutely gorgeous. I quite like the uh, color layout in yep. the palette. And I love the packaging. It's when really I pretty, look isn't at the it? packaging like up close and really, you know, look at what it is, I'm not super drawn to it. But as a whole, I like it. I like it too. I like, I really like this almost, um, I don't know. I feel like this is very Mediterranean yes. summer. Yeah. Like you've got but some. But with a little bit of like an old school hint yeah, to it. I like, look, I don't. It's Nana Glam. It's Nana Glam. <laughs> it's Mediterranean Nana Glam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right now we haven't seen the swatches of the lip products, but it does look like there's some deep shades in there. There's a nude in there. There's obviously a red that she's wearing. I love that um, beautiful teal. Yeah, I like um, it as well. Coloring over that packaging. It's really, really beautiful. And that alone makes me want to buy one. Yeah. But I like the teals and the inspiration yeah, so in the palette as well. Um, you can sort of tell that, okay, she might be into makeup, but she's not a makeup influencer yep. because this is not terribly unique, No, but it's also, I think, a slightly different perspective mm. and it's not scared to do the pop-up teal because yep. everyone's been and doing it this cool year. there's a cool orange in there as well. Yeah. I like that. I Look, I don't think it's revolutionary. Absolutely not. Most makeup in the last fucking five years hasn't been. Correct. Um... But I don't hate it. Mm. I don't know who she is. So I I can't have like that fan attachment to it. But will I buy it? No. Do I hate it? No. Yeah. Yeah. If this landed on my doorstep. I would use it. I would use the heck out of it. I would actually be really happy. Yeah. I agree. I'd be like, cool. Thanks, Colourpop. But I also feel like if this this had my name on it, I wouldn't be ashamed of it. Because I think it's done well. Yeah, it's not not a shit selection. Look, I've seen worse, mate. I've I've seen seen worse. Have you seen the (laughs) Heiress collection? (laughs) What was that called? That was I can't even remember. It was something... Colourpop losing their mind. Yeah, Colourpop X Hotel People. (laughs) Yeah, the Palms. It was the Palms. That's it, the Palms. But they were... Travel bloggers or something. Oh, Whatever the fuck it God. was. It was ridiculous. It was absolute save trash. Save us yeah. all. Save us all. What is coming from Coloured Rain? We don't know. Something new. Something new. 
Uh, it looks like a palette. I mm. like, once again, this is very similar to that last palette we we're just talking about. Yeah. You've got the teals, you've got the warms. Yeah. But I'm curious to see what would be in this. They are holding a competition that if you come up with a great name, um, you will win the, the entire, entire collection. collection. So it's clearly not just a palette, it's a collection. Um, and $500 to like spend at Colored Brain website. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Look, I, look, that's a good prize. It is a good prize. I think a lot of people are saying that they're sick of brands reaching out to their audience to get name suggestions or color suggestions or layout suggestions. But when it genuinely comes with like a massive prize, yeah. I feel like that, like if you're going to do it, I feel like that's a good way to do yeah, it. Yeah, to reward the person. Yeah. That, yes, I, yeah. I think that's fair. I also think that this is not done Badly, I think we're all being burnt by that. Um, yeah. What was it? The Ciate and Trend Mood palette that yeah. never eventuated. Yeah, that, that was that, that was tiring. Yeah, that and, really, really. It became a joke. It did, and I feel like that tainted brands asking their audience for yeah. feedback or um, suggestions. Yeah, and I feel like that is especially with brands that are sort of indie brands like Coloured Rain. Um, that are mainly advertised on social media, I think it's fair to ask your audience what you want. Yeah. That's a sensible thing to do. We often do it. Well, not often, but we sometimes do it like, yeah. what should we name this series? What yeah. do you want to see next? Because it's, it's, we want to we want to please you and they yeah. want to please you too. And I, I can respect that. And I think that they've done this in a really good way. Yeah. You yeah. Know, it's like, probably the best that I've yeah. seen in a long time. I agree. Also, I reckon that looks like a bird of paradise. It looks nice, doesn't it? I'm Look, excited to see what's inside. Yeah, if something if that is a really nice palette with teals and greens and, and a golds few golds and a few and, oranges, yeah. I'll fucking buy it. I don't I've never like, tried colored colored neither rain. Neither have I. But it's not because I don't want to, it's just that nothing yeah. so far has it's inspired me. It's a matter me. of like them releasing the right palette for you at the right time. So yeah. it's got the right color story where you go, I want to use almost everything in there and you're ready to bring another palette into your life. Like you've you've got the the space within your soul. You're ready. You're ready. You're for ready your to body. take the plunge. <laughs> yes. Which I'm not ready yet. But maybe no, when I'm this not ready. blank collection comes yeah. out, I Just might be ready. Hold on to it until next year, Coloured Rain, because I they am probably will. not ready. No, I think they will. To, if yeah. they haven't got the packaging, like this looks like it's a prototype. If they haven't it got does, it yeah. with the design on it, they're yeah. not ready to go. Let's yeah. just be real. Yeah. Um, the next thing that we've got is boring. Oh. Buxom have released a cream highlighter palette called the Divine Goddess Palette. So it's mm. three creams uh, and it's coming soon. They haven't released it. It's coming soon. Okay. Good story, bro. Fucking boring. Boring. BH Cosmetics. Yep. Uh, just launched. This is an all matte palette. Called the Ultra Matte Palette. Yes. No, Ultimate Matte. Ultimate. Ultimate Matte. 42 hues, vivid brights, soft pastels, and versatile neutrals. $19.50. I think that's limited. A, it's an introductory price. I think. Okay. Yeah, cool. Because they often do that. They did that with the Zodiac one as well. Yeah. Where it's cheaper and then it goes up a bit, like maybe to 24 bucks or something. Yeah. Um, what do you think of this? I don't like it. <laughs> no, it's not for me. No. I'm going to say there are a couple of colors in there that I'm like, oh, I wish that yeah. was in a smaller thing. Yeah. Or... There's some, like if I was going to cherry pick yeah. some colors out of there, I would do it. I wouldn't just walk away and be like, no, not interested at all. But I am so, I'm done with big palettes. Yeah, I'm the same. I actually really love like quads and mm. uh, six pan palettes. Yeah, and, I know, right? I'm, it's like palette bonanza. Yeah. Um, and I do feel like the smaller ones, especially like um, we, we've talked about this many times and sorry if we're fucking beating broken, a dead yeah, horse. Broken records. Um, but capsule palettes, a green palette, yeah. a glitter palette, a this palette, a yeah. that palette, a cream palette if you want. Who gives a fuck? Yep. I like those. Yep. And that's why I like the Linda Hallberg one. I'm like, that is a beautiful metallic yes, palette. Yes, I know. Done. Like I can... I can see where something like this would have a place. And I'm not saying I'll never buy another large palette in my life. Because we all know we will. We, I, of course we will. But I just don't... There is no room in my life for this. It doesn't interest me. It doesn't inspire me. 
But I shut down. I like, so it's do almost I. like analysis paralysis. I would look at this and go, too hard basket. Yeah, I'm I don't, going for the yeah. cord that is much easier to use. Yeah, so, I agree. And I will say with big palettes like this, I don't understand the jumbled color selection. Well, that's what a lot of people are saying. Yeah, that I, it'd be a lot more appealing to the eye if the color gradient lay, layout yeah. was a lot more yeah i yeah, understand friendly. yeah i understand when it's like you know rows of like four and they you can wear them in you know the rows that they're created in but this what are you going to do you're going to put six you're going to put those six fucking mats on your no you're not you've got warms yellows and browns yellows and warms nudes and purples cool tones and browns and purples and then you've got more blue, cool blue, tone, blue, 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 blue blue warm, warm. rusty color and black. black and white and yeah it doesn't it's just, i don't no. i just i struggle very much to fake excitement or say anything nice it's fair I cannot tell a lie. <laughs> That's fair. All right, let's move on to Becca. Mm -hmm. They are showing, well, Trend Mood may, I don't know where Trend Mood got this from. No. But it looks like it's almost a release calendar. Yeah. So yep. we've got the 6th of December, G'day, Becca, Becca Beauty. Beauty. Yep. And it's got something that looks like, it's like a split yep. pan. Mm -hmm. There's a brown, maybe a circle in the middle. And then it sort of segments around that and there's whites and pinks. Yep. Then there is January, January 1st. Got it. Yep. Happy Lunar New Year. Yeah. And, and it's a year pig. Of the pig. Yeah. So that makes sense. it looks like there's two new highlighters coming. I have no idea what G'day Becca Beauty is. That's... Do you know what it could be? Mm -hmm. You know how they've been doing those destination ones? It's an it might Australian, be an Australian one. But I don't it know make sense. what the pan design would be. That kind of looks like testicles that are shiny yeah. and the start of a shaft <laughs> yeah what the fuck is that i don't know i don't know but it's something coming <laughs> just trying really hard i am i'm I trying as an australian i don't recognize that i don't recognize that either i spat on myself that's but i'm how... trying to think which influencer would it be it would be someone like chloe morello or Lauren Curtis, maybe. Is she she's still around these days, or is she... Don't know. If she's still working in the influencer industry, that's... I think she is, but I don't think she posts very often. No. And I'm sure she'd probably still put a name to it, but I don't know if yeah. that approach her. I don't know, but anyway, December 6th, eh? Yeah, coming well, soon. That, we'll talk about it next week, next maybe. Week. Hopefully. But I am, I do think the pig one is cool. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's definitely, I It mean, is cute. I'm down Chinese with that. Chinese New Year, Year of the Pig. It makes sense. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Cool. Um, all right, the last, last thing. and the least. Mm, it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. even more least than BH Cosmetics. That's fair. Soz, but Beauty Bay have released or are releasing... On December 6th, a collaboration with YouTuber Saffron Barker. Now, we mean no disrespect to Saffron. I don't personally know who she is. No. But Beauty Bay... Stop. <laughs> Just stop. My God. We've got three new palettes. These are 20 pounds each. Jeez. Or you can buy all three for 50 bucks. Just for a little... 50 pounds. No, sorry, 50 pounds. Just for a little bit of reference, that's about $100. 50... Is it still $100? I think the pound's gone down. Is 88. 88 65 What about US, two US dollars? Look, 64 It's only 64 Yeah. So, yeah. look, our dollar is not good against the pound. The pound is going down. But yeah. It, yeah. Look, when Beauty Bay first released... Desk um, palettes desk palettes they did talk about releasing three palettes with a different influencer that mm. once again we hadn't heard of sorry it is what it is yeah but those were a little bit different one was sort of a green and a mustardy one was sort of like a warm one one was something else whatever it was these are like modern renaissance a yeah. fucking tart palette yeah that looks like a tart palette and then we haven't seen the inside of the last one 
No, there it yes. is. Yeah. It's just a rose gold it's, palette. It's, I, mm. Yeah, these... I think the thing is, like, I haven't... I have heard that the quality of these aren't bad from what, okay, I, what I've heard. Cool. But I do feel like that they are jumping on the... Fa- it's sort of similar to ColourPop. Instead of being fast fashion, where they just produce cheap trendy shit it's fast makeup yeah and i feel like that that's not the best way to be taken seriously in the makeup industry absolutely not it might be the best way to make a quick buck but whether you're going to be making makeup in a couple hundred years time alongside l'oreal and all these other brands probably not no so um i just feel like it'd be better to put more effort into quality over quantity that's how i feel and that's why this holds no weight for me and this is why i'm like this is the least beauty bay are doing the least because yeah can i also say that if they're going to do this so they had three with a different influencer three with this influencer what how about have an influencer series where they create their one perfect palette each. Are you going to release three new palettes every three months with a new influencer? Probably. Because that's 12 a year and we don't need that. That's a palette a month. It's a lot. But I feel like that's what, if you had like did the MAC thing where it's like you've got the MAC makeup. Yes. Where your yep. your one influencer has created their perfect lipstick. Yeah. The one influencer has created their perfect palette. I think you were going to... I think it's gonna be it's gonna be tolerated a bit better than yep. just pumping out things. Because if someone said to me, "Come up with three palettes," I'd be like, "I no. don't fucking know. Can I just come up with one really good one, not three sub ones?" Just let me six shades and put it in some nice packaging. Yeah. And can we just create something that's quality, not quantity crap? I want might not people... be crap. It might not it be might crap. It might not be crap. It might not. We haven't used them. I'm not familiar with their quality, but it's just. It's a lot. Okay, it has come to the time to dedicate this episode to a Beauty News VIP. And we have decided to go with our most recent uh, As member. As 11, 11 hours, hours ago. ago. When you're watching this, it's 11 hours and like two, three and days. days. <laughs> yeah. uh, Allegra. Yes. Allegra, thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Yes. Um. So thank you, Allegra, and thank you to everyone who supports Beauty News, however you choose to support us. We appreciate it. It is lovely. We do. And for the people that want to know what our Beauty News VIPs are, they're the lovely people that support our channel through memberships. Yes. So you subscribe. We do create... We don't create. We don't really... Well, we do, we do create. We sort of. We sit down and do a live chat <laughs> once do. a month with yeah. our VIPs. If yeah. people have wanted to know where our live chats have gone, they've gone to the membership people. Yeah, they have. It's yeah. more manageable. You get yeah. to know people a bit better. You get to have a chat about stuff. You don't stuff. have people in the comments. Show like... your tits! <laughs> you don't get that. You don't get the yeah. spam. Yeah. yeah. So it's a nice little community that we have. Um, yeah. And we do them once a month. Um, and yeah. So we enjoy doing that. So if yes. that's what you wanted to know what the fuck it is, that's what it is. That's what it is. Um, our last video was, our last live chat was a bit funny. We were talking about some really like, we were, we were talking about some stuff where I'm like, probably shouldn't be talking about this. I know. This yeah. was like early days of live chats. For yeah. Us. We were just, we were just like talking, Yeah, talking about word vomit, word vomit. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. anyway, if you want to join that. Yes. That's yeah. what the join button down below is. It is, um, yes. But if you've made it to the end, I thought of an emoji. Good. What is it? It is a pig. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because, Becca, I'm interested in your pig highlighter. Yeah. And whatever this g'day fucking... Australia. Australia, mate. Yeah. Also, can we mention... This is just rambly shit. Mm-hmm. This is like the live chat. Mm-hmm. Um, in the group. So we also have groups. Yeah. In the Not Beauty News group on Facebook, someone posted an Australian palette. Did you see that? I did see that. It made me laugh. Yeah. So, pop it on the screen. Pop it on the you. screen. I had a good laugh at that too. When I saw it, I was like, who the fuck released this trash? Like, it actually made me angry. And then I read the shade names. I was like, that's brilliant. I want it. Oh, I want a sausage now. Yeah. A bunning sausage. Bunning a black sausage. one. Black one. All right, guys. So we hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty News. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And we are going to see you. On Monday. On Monday. To start off 
the beauty news. Holiday releases. Holiday releases and kind of our version of Vlogmas. Yes! Sort Fuck, of? I forgot about that. Yeah. When does that start? <laughs> On Monday. <laughs> On Monday? Okay, cool. We'll be back a lot. You'll see our, not our faces, maybe yeah. our hands, but you'll yeah. see our content five yeah. days a week. So yeah, like you said, five videos a week in December. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll check ourselves into a mental institution. Yes. Or Bali. Yay! Yay! <laughs> ourselves into Bali. Yes. All right, we're going to give you five videos a week for December, and then we're fucking off. We are. <laughs> Which is all right. I'm, I'm down with that. Yeah. All, all right. right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. And then all of a sudden, you're pubic, piggybacking off a property. I thought you were going to say pubic hair. <laughs> you're pubic hairing <laughs> off a property. <laughs> These things happen when yeah. you've got pubic hair. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs>